Common Sense of a Duke's Daughter, Chapter 180 Report Since attending the ball party in the Royal Palace, I have been invited from various houses, so I participated as much as possible. If I can, I would like to return to the territory soon. But, no matter what, I have to stay in the kingdom. Well, more than anything, the management of the territory is stable, and the current concern is that Princess L and Yuri set something up, bad for the house or territory. In that case it would be better to stay in the kingdom so that I can counter it soon. That is the best reason. There is a disturbing air now in the kingdom. The quantity of people attending parties is getting bigger. It's increasing more and more as I attended the parties. Every party, everyone is seeing each other's face. It used to be a place where they were expressed everything on their faces, degrading others, pleasing others, analyzing others. A true battlefield of foxes with poisonous words, but now it's over. Everyone is afraid, and looking for information, so those petty actions were not seen anymore. However, I cannot keep being in the kingdom forever. Looking at the reports and agreements coming up from the territory, I write instructions and approve documents. As far as I'm the territory's acting lord, I must write instructions in anticipation of every situation. Suddenly I stop the feather pen. Will not these work get in the way if I get married? Suddenly, I thought of such a thing. The Acacia Kingdom is a thorough man society. Not that women have a hard life there, but I will not be able to do my job. Before that happens, should I leave my position at the territory to someone else? I was supposed to stay in the territory for a long time without marriage. But, if I'm married I might have to go to another country. When I thought so, I felt as if I had a hole in my heart. Surrounded by all my people. Tanya, Didda, Lyle, Dean in the side. It is a heavy responsibility and hard work. But, therefore, it comes with a sense of accomplishment when I'm supported by everyone. I thought that such days will continue forever. Sometimes I imagine myself asking Byrne if I can inherit it, even so. At the end, I certainly didn't imagine that it would become such. The blue blood flowing in this body must continue. That is why my ancestors who have never seen the partner's face before, have been married for a long time. That is a nobleman, is not it? The words of Mimosa comes to mind. Her words are terribly correct. My body is a piece of meat and blood, for the sake of the country. For the house. That is the duty of nobility, holding on and delivering that blood. Yes. Although. Dean. From my mouth, that name leaked out. I absolutely wanted to see him. But at the same time, I do not want to see him. If we meet and talk, I can forget this suffering though it is only for a brief moment. However, it will be more painful afterwards, if we meet. I cannot give up on my love for him. A future with him is impossible since the beginning. But I desire it. I hope it comes true. Such a thing surely is not appropriate for a nobleman as Mimosa says. Even though I did not understand my feelings at first, but when I came to know my feelings, this love has grown so much that it's unstoppable. If you become conscious, in the blink of an eye, you quickly fall deeply with no return. Even though I knew it myself, and decided to not let it happen again, it is exactly what happened. I put the feather pen on the desk once more. Breathe in and out heavily and deeply, as if trying to blow away the dark thoughts that comes to my head. Now I calm myself and remind me that it is not time to think about such a thing. And then, when I opened my eyes next time, I got absorbed in the document in front of me. When concentrating, it was really quick that I managed to finish off all the documents I had to handle today. 
I take a breath and pick up a letter from Munda. The content is what I asked him to confirm beforehand. It is about the investigation of the church which seems to be involved in the price rise of the kingdom. Even Tanya said that investigation will take time, but Munda is Munda. He has his methods when it comes to this. The influence on the company seems to be still alive. When I was looking at the letter, I heard a knocking sound at the door. It was Tanya who came in. Milady, do you have a minute? Would you like me to read the report? Yes, please. Tanya came to report the information regarding Mimos's engagement. I did not expect it. I lost all words to answer about what I heard. Lady. Tanya seemed to be concerned about me. I'm okay, Tanya. Please continue. At my answer, Tanya continues reading while anxious taking glances at me. Finally, a message from Mimosa. Did you meet Mimosa? Yes, I was called by her when I was investigating the things regarding the engagement. So, what is the content of her message? She said, I should not continue, she doesn't want you to help her. I repeatedly chew in my head the words of Tanya. It sounds like her. I bitterly smile and Tanya also smiled similarly. Oh, you already tried to stop me when I requested you to investigate about this, did you say it to her? To my question, Tanya bowed to agree. Really, that girl is stupid. To Mimos's gentle wishes, I could only say so. Into eyes where tears are likely to come out, I put all my strength and exhale heavily to disperse the cloudy thoughts. Even though I do not mind being told that. However, I certainly cannot move easily from now on. The name of the Duke of Almeria is so powerful, hence there are various fences. If I move under the current circumstances, the factions battle in the royal palace have the danger of becoming more intensified. But, if asked myself if this would be a reason to forsake a friend, that is not the case. For me she gave all. I was losing my position at the school, but she still stayed with me until the end. She is truly an important person to me. In fact without her help, the rumors about me at school would have been terrible. Like she thought about me and helped me, I also care about her very much. I close my eyes and put my thoughts together. Hey, Tanya, will you really ask me to stop as she said? If it is what the lady orders, I will. Thank you, in that case I would like to send a message to priest Rafshimans, of course, it is top secret. Okay. The content will be written after all your reports have been finished. Continue please. At my words, Tanya twinkled her eyes. Because it was you, you investigated everything I asked, you helped me greatly this time. Thank you so much. Tanya smiled like a flower at my words. I'm unworthy of it lady. I will now report on what I discovered about the matter of Baroness Yuri. I switched my mind to her words and continued listening.